Hi guys, welcome to Journey with Char. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys had a lovely, lovely weekend. Um, I did, I rested up, um, was very tired, had a very hard week. And like I said, I'm gonna try to put more videos up in the month of November. Um, today I come to you with a small haul. I went to Trader Joe's and I went to Walmart and I want to show you guys just some little small things that I got today. Uh, first off, I want to let you guys know, I cannot stand bags. They accumulate, it gets too many, you just feel like you're just stuffed with bags everywhere, at least I do. So I normally I buy like the grocery bags. You know how the grocery stores have their own little bags. I like those too, but they're not wide enough for me. So I've been searching for and still looking for more bags. So I bought some this weekend. Um, I'm gonna do a haul one day this week, possibly tomorrow, just showing you a few bags that I bought and some um, coolers that I got this week also. Um, but I did use one tonight this cooler they look kind of actually i believe that they're made by diaper bag um, company a company that does baby diaper bags but this cooler i saw i found on amazon and you guys it is so perfect tonight with my little haul that i got so i want to show you this is it right here this is the front of the cooler and that is the name of the cooler here I need to put my glasses on. I'll tell you guys in a moment. I'll put this, um, the um, description below in the box. But anyway, it has little side pockets. And it does remind you of a diaper bag. But it's literally a cooler. And I have so much in here. But I love it. It has little pockets here. If you want to put your coupons in here. Your um, store uh, sales paper. Whatever you want to put in here. I love that it has that pocket there. Even if you want to put your little wallet in there. And just keep it secure. I probably wouldn't put my wallet in there. But you know to each his own. But it, I love the fact that it has the pockets. And um, it's... It's um, wide, the inside. So I'm going to show you what I have inside here. Let me put my glasses on. You guys, I do have other colors. Matter of fact, I have two more. Like I said, I'm going to show you this week. The ones, um, it's two more that I have that are just like this, but they're in different colors. And I also have the cooler bags. Well, they're like the drink holders. So they come with this. And it's literally hold four bottles of soda, big containers of soda. And I have to show you guys that this week too. I'm really, really excited. So anyway, let me get to my little haul. I'm going to start off with the cold stuff so I can put the cold things back into the refrigerator as soon as possible. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so first off I have here... Um, this is a family size enchilada by Amy's. Like I told you, I'm, I have to be careful. I cannot eat wheat. Um, and majority of the things that I eat are gluten free. Um, so this right here is a family size meal. This would take me probably the entire week to eat because I can eat it a little, a little, a bit of it, um, in the evening with a nice salad. And I can also take it to lunch, um, some for like leftovers. But this one is so delicious. This is one of my favorite from Amy's, this family size. And it is the enchiladas, the cheese enchilada with organic corn and tomatoes. And you guys, it is really, really good. So go try that out. If you're gluten-free like me and you're trying to, you know, find meals, something quick through the week. Because through the week I'm real busy and a lot of times I get off. And when I get off, there's a lot of running around that I have to do. And I get home late and I am just too tired to try to cook so this is fantastic to put in the in the um, oven and also a salad <laughs> um, this doesn't have meat in it so if you want to have it where you can add the meat to this you can mix it up you've gotten your meat but I got this from Walmart tonight and I just was like this is wonderful I can split this up in two meals I can take one half for lunch tomorrow or either I can um, um, eat one half in the evening and take one half for lunch the next day. So I thought that that was perfect. But also I got a little size one for when I don't, when I, when I don't have Amy's to take, I can just take this to lunch. So I love the little size and it comes with a little fork 
and this one has the salad dressing which I probably wouldn't use I would make my own salad dressing you know with a little bit of olive oil garlic a little bit of salt and pepper vinegar shake it up real quick and there you go um, just to avoid whatever calories are in this salad dressing we have to be careful so that is just fantastic I love that the little chicken is chicken breast so I'm very happy about that um, and it's roasted and it's this is the Santa Fe one so if you guys ever I've tried this before and it's delicious I really do love it so if you've never tried it check it out it's at Walmart um, not all Walmarts carry it but the super Walmarts do carry it you guys super Walmart is really doing good with organic things and um, better quality items um, they're getting a lot of organic products and I'm very happy with that with, water, with Walmart people can make better um, Decis food decisions for their family instead of getting things with so such high sodium they have better salads actually green salads and not just your regular water uh, 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 lettuce you know they're really 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 doing good so hat hats off to uh, Walmart so anyway also I went to Vons tonight if you guys are not familiar um, if you live in the California area you know about Vons and Pavilions it's the same store just Pavilions is a little bit more fancier so I went to Vons tonight and I love apples this is my favorite time of year because my favorite treat is apples I am an apple eater and let me tell you Johnny Appleseed I am all about him okay I love apples so I have organic apples here um, I have Fuji apple I have a gala and a honey crisp and let me tell you um, I do the um, the organic and they come in like a little green you know to make it known that it's organic but um, I do the organic because like we said we don't want the pesticides and all the other stuff that they spray on these apples um, that are not organic I have to make sure what goes in my body is healthy so anyway three apples I got that tonight and uh teas let me show you my tea so let me put these cold things over to the side these are the things that i got cold tonight and like i said you guys it did so good in my little um little bag here and i'm going to show you the rest of them tomorrow and even you guys look inside i'm going to show you the inside i could have fit so much more could have fit so much more no, why that is inside? Look at that. I could fit so much more in there and organize it so much more better because I'm the type, I'm in that store, I'm organized and I'm putting things together. So anyway, um, that was the code items. What I got that was regular, my everyday. I, my faithful honey. Um, This is by Miller's. I've never tried Miller's. I did find this at Walmart um, never tried Miller's it's raw clover honey so I'm looking forward to trying that I do like the organic honey however tonight I was in a hurry and I did not have time to go to sprouts and get the organic raw honey that I usually get so this one is an alternative for this week this honey what I do with this I use it in my teas um, tonight I got the blueberry slim again you guys you know me about my blueberry my blueberry slim and I have the the, um, this is called Tosai. I don't know if I'm saying it right. Spice Berry Immune System. It's very important during this time of year. I really start in the summertime, late summer. I like to build up my immune system, make sure I'm exercising, I'm walking, I'm eating a lot of vitamin C, and I'm also making sure that I'm eating healthy um, vegetables and fruit, organic, because our immune system, you guys, especially during this time of year, and especially living in California, um, you have to be careful and make sure you build your immune system up because California can have days We don't know what we're gonna get in California. We know one thing we're gonna get sunny days But California can one day change and just be like cold one minute and the next day It's hot and the next day and you have to be careful in weather like that you can get sick in weather like that don't take that for granted so I have my teeth here and speaking of tea you guys I've got to show you this um, and then I'll show you the rest of the things that I got um, from uh, Walmart but this I got this from World Market the other day and it's a tea for one I should have kept the little package on there but I was so excited the box alone is that not cute like after you're done with whatever 
you can keep this box for all kinds of put little letters in here you can put your stationery, whatever you can use this box it is so cute and sturdy but anyway this is called new me or new my do not quote me i don't know if i'm saying it right but these little tees and i'm going to show you they come like this and they're at wall um world market i keep saying walmart world market they're these little tea blooms and you put them in this little teapot and i'm about to go to bed in a couple of hours and i'm brewing myself some tea and let me show you guys how beautiful it is very hot i have to be careful how i pick it up but see how that tea flower blooms is that not adorable so this tea i am going to drink this evening and i'm going to have it in my faithful anthropology cup yes this is my first uh this is a, a, a k i love the letter k and it is in my name so this if you guys go to anthropology you will find these cups in all every letter of the alphabet so they're really really popular during christmas time so you guys go check it out um, but anyway i'm gonna have my tea in this cup tonight and like i said you guys it's very very hot but how beautiful is that bloom it is just so pretty and 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 i'm just so excited about this it's it's very very hot if you can see the steam i don't know Ooh, but let me put it down because it's very very hot but anyway i'm gonna have that tonight with a with a little bit of squeeze of honey and um, a little bit of lemon and i'm good to go and that's gonna help me relax for the evening and go to bed and have a good night's rest and pray and believe in god and he's gonna wake me up tomorrow morning and start another day so anyway um also i got colgate you guys i have a dental appointment um in december and um I hate going to the dentist like who goes to the dentist who likes going to the dentist I hate going to the dentist however I am addicted to um, taking care of my teeth I just think especially the older you get you really need to take care of your teeth and um, I am I'm gonna do a haul one day on every single thing that I use for my teeth but tonight I needed to get toothpaste and Colgate daily repair is one that I really 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 like um, we need to repair because let me tell you guys sometimes your gums can recede and you're not knowing you're brushing too hard you need to repair a cavity because you know if a cavity is extremely light and it's in its light form of of, of coming to a full cavity you can reverse it if you use the right toothpaste if you use um, mouthwash and if you use uh, what's the other one I use act um, repair uh, you do that and floss and really and, and watch what you eat you can repair a light cavity please do not say oh you mean to tell me so this one that's like cracked and like rotten and it's smelling I can repair it no honey it's gone too far you need to go to the dentist so they can remove it I'm talking about if it's really 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 a light light cavity you can repair it so this one um, is good for its daily repair total uh, by Colgate's cavities plaque gingivitis enamel tartar breath and it whitens so that's perfect so i got that tonight because i was running out of toothpaste another thing that i got was my uh, faithful dove let me tell you guys about this dove family brand right here i love dove because dove really does moisturize your skin when i get out of the shower using dove i usually use the plain one i'm not too into smells and scents and perfumes um, but what how they sent this uh, put the scent in I, I don't think it's like a, a real bad bad brand where it dries your skin out but like I said I love the smell of it but I usually use the blue and white one I will show you that one however they were out tonight other pair, people apparently use it too and uh, so I said you know what I'll just try this one this is purely pampering um, and it is the it looks like it's coconut milk and jasmine petals it smells you guys it smells ridiculous i mean it in, in a re, in a good day in, in a good way ridiculous in a good way <laughs> tongue twisted this stuff smells so good and let me tell you this brand this family brand um the one that has the nutrient moisture ooh, 
talking about your skin feeling so soft and so smooth and very nur um, new, uh, nourished when you get out of the shower. Try Dove, you guys. This stuff does not fail. It does take care of your skin. It really is a good moisturizing soap. I really do recommend Dove. So, got that. And you guys, we were walking on the baking aisle. And I was looking for, I forgot what I was looking for. It was something I was looking for. I don't know if it was vanilla. I don't know what it was. Um, but it couldn't have been vanilla because I get my vanilla from World Market or Sprout. So it couldn't have been vanilla. It was something I was looking for in the baking aisle. Anyway, I was excited when I saw this. Pillsbury's Best. I have not seen it. Maybe you guys have seen it. I have not seen this. And when I saw it, I was so excited because I have a gluten-free cookbook. And I'm just like, you know what? I need to get some gluten-free flour. I need to start getting these things because I like to bake and I like to cook. And um, we're coming up to the holidays. And the things that I'm going to have to make, I'm going to have to make little tiny little different things for me than I do for the rest of the family because everybody's not gluten-free. You guys, have you seen this? by Pillsbury like oh my god I was so excited I was like gold star for Pillsbury look at this gluten free flour and it is all purpose flour blend it is a blend of rice flour potato starch pea fiber um, tapioca starch and xanthan gum I was so ecstatic about seeing this so I'm really excited about using this I want to bake during the um, um, holidays and I will show you guys and I will let you know how I like it. I hope that it comes out fluffy because um, I should have showed you guys the pancakes that I had. Um, we, My family and I probably, we, well, we ate them. Uh, I'm going to buy them again. The pancake mix, I have got to show you which one. It is so fluffy. You cannot tell that it is a gluten-free pancake. So I will be doing a haul. I'm going to get some more of that, and I will be doing a haul on that pancake um, mix and brand of what pancake that is. But you guys, Pillsbury Best Gluten-Free. If you know of any other gluten-free flours, I think it's one called Four Cup, Cup, Four Cup, Four Cup, or something like that. i got to find out about that. Martha Stewart. I was watching her the other day. She does this American made thing every single year. And um, this girl won. Um, she was one of her winners. And she was um, talking about, well, talking with her the other day. And she, this girl, everything she does is gluten free. And she created a flower called Cup for Cup or something. I'll give you that um, flower soon too because I'm going to go get that flower and I'll let you know. Um, I'll do a haul on that flower too. Because I, I have to start investing in. Um, gluten-free products i have to start investing in these things in order for me to be able to enjoy my life and eat so there we have it i'm very excited about that another thing you guys i am very i love yogurt and yogurt today um it is so many yogurt brands out there that are full 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 of just the wrong kind of ingredients and i um since I've been in my 40s, my body has changed a little bit, and this is for the ladies. My body ha has changed a little bit. My chemistry and everything, I had to figure out my chemi chemical imbalancement and all this other stuff. Going to the doctor helped me out. Um, but um, the probiotic thing, it's, it's working for me. The probiotic thing, the little the drinks that they do, and I will let you know. I will buy a drink. You, you ever been to Sprouts? Some of you that have Sprouts in your area, or either any kind of gourmet or nice um, 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 healthy store, they have these probiotic drinks. Um, they, they don't have much sugar. Uh, they taste like wine or beer or something. It's very strong, but they have probiotics, live active um, cultures in it, and it's very, very good for you. Um, I drink one of those maybe once a week or something, but I've come to love this this yogurt here. It's called White Mountain Bulgarian Yogurt Probiotic. This right here. This stuff, I love it. Um, you can bake with this. You can do all kinds of things with this. What I do, I eat like half of cup, a half a cup. And I add just a little bit of honey to it just to sweeten it up just a little bit because it's not sweet. 
Um, and I love that. You can control the sugar that goes in and you want to make sure that you're not eating too much sugar. Now, if I have very ripe fruit like blueberries, strawberries, um, I will put it in there without any anything and it just stir it around and it's really fantastic. If it's too bitter or too sour for you, you can add just a little drizzle of honey, stir it and go for it. But I really do love this and I wanted to share this with you guys um it I can't even name all of the uh, the the cultures you know those cultures in the way that they are pronounced it's, it's just crazy but anyway it it has it is it's a, it's a wonderful brand I really do love it you can get it at Ralph's it's not it's in the yogurt section but not in the one that's full of sugar it's in like a more exclusive yogurt section so they do have it where this is a whole milk one they do have it where it is um, fat free um, low fat and fat free I believe but I just went on and did the whole milk um, because I just think that it's good protein you can add this to your shakes in the morning um, you can add this to, you can make popsicles with this, healthy popsicles, fruit popsicles. Um, you can do all kinds of things. You can just get creative with this stuff. You can even make a salad dressing with this. You know, it's a, an amazing product. And I was just very, very happy to get that. You guys, my tea is coming along. Okay. And so that was that. Another thing that I got from the store, you guys, I continue that. Yes, yes, I love watermelon. Yes, I do. These little bad boys are the sweetest. They are just, this watermelon is just delicious. It is the best watermelon. I had bigger watermelons this summer um, and they were really, really good. My grandfather used to grow watermelon and let me tell you the way you pick them when they're real yellow at the bottom, they got like that nice butter yellow and, they, and it's really heavy yellow and it's a nice heavy and the lines are all nice and straight and this is kind of dried out it's in, in both ends. When it looks like that, your watermelon is ready. And um, open it up and enjoy. But you know what? I have not had a watermelon like the watermelons my grandfather used to grow back in Mississippi on his farm as a child. I have not seen watermelons full of black seeds in the longest time. I don't know what's going on. When we cut a watermelon open, it is hardly no seeds in there. You may see one or two black seeds. I don't understand. And they're sweet. But let me tell you, my grandfather's watermelons were so sweet. When we would go pick them from his farm, he would say, let's go kids, let's go pick out a watermelon. It was bees hanging around his watermelon. So hint, hint, okay? Bees and yellow jackets were stinging his watermelon. He also let us know, you see those sting marks on your watermelon? Yeah, that means that is sweet. So you guys, I have not had a, a beautiful tasting watermelon like that in years. And I believe if I ever come across one, I would literally cry because it would just bring back memories of my grandfather. So I have a thing with watermelon and it is because he grew watermelon and we were kids. He would cut them ever so perfectly. They look like moon shape. And we would just sit on his carport and we would just sit outside with all the neighboring kids and cousins and we would eat watermelon and sugar cane because if some of you don't know what that is that's where the sugar comes from he would cut that sugar cane and watch us like a hawk as we eat and chew and spit it out but those are good memories anyway you guys i just had a little moment there but this watermelon is really good watermelon is absolutely it's a squash a fruit and a squash and what's amazing about it is that literally you can cook the whole thing you can even eat this if you boil it right and but I don't do that I just eat the inside but watermelon is really 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 good for your hair it's really really good for your skin and it's just a healthy anything that grows is good for you that is edible because God made it you know anyway so I have another uh, item here that I wanted to share with you guys before I close out um, you guys I am a Disney fanatic I do love Disneyland and the other day I was looking for a toaster and I could not believe I found this the cutest little toaster and I looked it up and people gave me great reviews you guys it's a Mickey Mouse toaster how cute is that and this is something quick in the morning. I said, you know what, right now, I'm not trying to get the gourmet toaster. I'm not trying to get the Breville right now. 
um, um, or the Quiznart toaster right now. But I said, you know what, right now I need a little toaster, something really, really quick. And this little guy, not to close him up real quick, but this little guy is so cute. And you know what's cute about this? I probably won't have time to wait, but when you wait and you toast it, your toast comes out with a Mickey head. Do you see that? Let me show you on the box. It's a little Mickey head that comes out. Do you see that on there, the little Mickey head? I thought that was the cutest thing. So I'm excited about using this toaster. I needed a, a toaster. And this one was affordable. How much was this one? I think it was $19. And I got this from, actually I got this from Toys R Us. When I was looking for a toaster, Toys R Us popped up. And I saw this and I got this one from Toys R Us. So you guys check it out. You can also get it from Amazon. So I was really excited about that. I'm going to start using that um, to make my Ezekiel bread um, in the morning. And I got to give you guys a recipe about the Ezekiel bread French toast with egg white. Let me tell you, delicious. Okay, one more item I wanted to tell you guys about before I close out. The other day, I don't know if you remember um, those of you who have seen my other um, vlog post that I've posted. And I was discussing about a purple journal that I had gotten um, from, um, it was, is it Daystar? Dayspring. 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 Go to dayspring.com. They have beautiful journals, beautiful mugs, anything that is inspirational and encouraging and just, it's a Christian, um, store. Uh, it, it really is a fantastic place to get nice gifts to give away and things to keep for yourself. So this one, um, this is a journal that I got. It's God's thoughts toward me. And that's it right there. It's a purple journal. And on the back, it lets you know that it's by day spring. And I just loved the beautiful shade of purple. Purple's a royal color. And I just love the way that it starts off light and it goes down into um, going into being dark and I just love that I thought it was pretty and the little flowers that are every ever so slightly on there anyway um, this journal belongs to I love the way that it has that also um, what I love it does have that bookmark so that you can know what page you last journaled on and what I loved is that each one of the journal pages have a scripture at the bottom to keep you encouraged and I just thought that that was just beautiful these different scriptures that are at the bottom I'm hoping that you're seeing that I just thought that that was just really 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 beautiful um, when I have my personal time journaling I think I've told you before um, is one of the greatest things you could do when you're trying to grow an intimate and personal relationship with God, um, t just writing down all of your worries, your doubts, your triumphs, your whatever you're going through in life. Um, a lot of times you can pray and talk to God through voice. And a lot of times it's best for you to also write it down. A beautiful thing about writing down your prayers and talking to God in your journal journals is that as you move forward in your life, you can always go back to that journal and you can look maybe two years, six months down the line, a year, two years, three years, even five years. And you can see where your mind was five years ago. You can see where you've grown. You can see where God has blessed you. You can see where your spiritual maturity has enhanced. You can see where um, just the changes in you as a person has developed, you know. And if you are still ch in ch being challenged in areas, you can even see where if there's areas you have not grown and you need to see, like, I'm still doing this and this is five years ago, you know. So that's what's good about journaling. And I just thought this one was just absolutely beautiful because let me tell you, I write down my prayers. I have so many journals and I have gone back seven years and have read things that I have written down to God and talked to him about. And I've seen a change in myself. I've seen where he has answered those prayers. I've seen where he has um, um, answered the call. I've seen where he has met those needs, uh, spiritual needs, physical needs, emotional needs. I've seen where he has been there for me all along the way. That's what's beauty is that 
even when you're going through your trials and your tribulations and your struggles and your hardships and you're writing it down and you may see some uh, um, lines where they're smeared because you're tears, you're so teary-eyed and, and you're just so full and you're writing it down, you see your growth. You see your growth through your hardship. And let me tell you, one of the greatest things of maturity, growing into spiritual maturity, is when you have surrendered unto God when something is extremely hard and you just don't know how you're going to get through it when you have given it to God and you have trust him say I'm just gonna let it go I'm just if there's nothing else I can do I'm just gonna let it go when you give it to God and you seek him every single day and when I say seek him I'm talking about reading the word of God because that's the way I seek God every single day now I'm not saying every single day I read the Bible there's days that um it's got it's, it gets so busy to where I don't have time but what's the beautiful thing is that I love that we are our um, radio. If you're not, you don't have time to pick up the Bible and read it yourself. Radio. There's a radio station here in Los Angeles called KKLA, and I listen to radio to listen to it. I listen to the pastors that come on. Some of my favorite pastors um, have um, radio time on this station, and when I don't have time to pick up my Bible and read it because it's been so busy during that day, I make sure I'm always praying and talking to God in my head, but I also make sure, thank God for technology, thank God for radio. If I don't look at it online, I can listen to it through the radio. So there's always a way that you can hear the Word of God. And so that, like I said, that's what enhances me. I have to, it keeps me balanced because I can get off balance. It keeps me balanced. You can get off balance. And one thing, let me tell y'all, when you're going through something in your life and you're trying, you want to get your life balanced, make sure you watch who you are around and, and the people you're talking to. Make sure that you're around the right people God wants in your life. Because some people you can be around, they can literally be tampering with your spirit. So make sure you pray and ask God, everybody that's in my life, do you want them there? You pretty much know who God does not want there because it's an uncomfortableness. And let me tell you, clip it. Clip the wings. Let it go. You know what I'm saying? Clip the string and let it go. Because your focus is to live a life full of serving God, doing his will. Those of you who are seeking that and those of you who are saying, what is she talking about? That's fine. But just listen, just hear it. Maybe you can get some ideas, you know. My thing is seek God, let him lead you, and don't let anybody take you and detour you off that pathway. And pray to God, put the right people in your life. Surround you with the right group of people, okay? So anyway, you guys, pick up a journal this week. If you have a journal that you've bought, you have not yet picked it up and used it, Use it, you guys. Just pick up a journal. Even if you start off in a tablet. If you can't pick, if you say right now, I don't have enough. Because honey, let me tell y'all, it was a point in time in my life, I didn't have enough to buy a journal. And this journal was about five bucks, okay? Some of you are like, really? Yeah, okay, I've been there. I'm not ashamed to say that. That is a part of my growth. Yes, there was a time I had to go to the 99 cent store. Thank God for those dollar stores. You can go there and get a 25 cent journal, uh, a regular um, uh, tablet on sale, 25 cents, and you start your journal with that I have many of um, school line you know those tablets I'm talking about that I have my journals in okay and as you grow and grow and grow and God blesses you you can get better journals but right now start off even if it's with a piece of paper that you are stapling together it does not matter start off just start journaling you guys okay so I'm gonna end that but let me show you guys my tea this is so beautiful Look at that. She is brewed. And I'm going to pour this tea up and I'm going to end this evening. I pray and hope you guys have a lovely evening and that um, God keeps you and protects you. And I pray that whatever you're going through in your life, whatever hardship, I pray that God be with you. You trust him as you're going through your struggles. And those of you who have triumphed, I pray that you be humble and kind through your triumphs and make sure that in your triumphs and in your blessings, you bless others. Don't just think about yourself. So I hope you guys enjoyed this evening and um, a vlog. And if you like it, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up, you guys. Join, subscribe, um, and say hello. I would like to hear from you. Okay, you guys have a lovely evening, and I'll talk to you soon. Thank you for watching Journey with Shard. Give me some tea.